Hello friends and welcome. It is the middle of January 2023 and I'm in The Bus, a game which is based upon driving a bus. This bus is developed by TML Studios, who are known for creating Fern Bus Simulator, World of Subways series and the City Bus Simulator series. Uh, Aerosoft publishes the game. It's currently in early access, but we're now in phase two, which I think came in last December, just gone. Um, it's set to leave early access this year, I think, when multiplayer and several other things like AI buses are expected to be available. The bus is described as the next generation of city bus driving simulation. It is set in the capital city of Germany, Berlin. The game features a one-to-one -one recreation of the city of Berlin, which is its unique selling point, I guess. As denoted in my caption, I'm an English in Berlin. I don't know Berlin. I don't drive a bus. I drive a car. I ride a bike. I've driven a car for 40 years now, is it? So we're on the 725 sh shift with this route to at BVG. BVG is the city-owned, I believe, um, transportation group. So we're basically going to head out from the depot to the starting point of the route, which is a... 20 kilometers away. Stupidly, perhaps, I've chosen to use the Mercedes-Benz e Citaro. It's a fully electric driven bus. The daft thing about choosing this bus for this route is that I believe the battery only lasts about 50 kilometers. And as it's 20 kilometers to the start of the actual route where I start picking up passengers, that's only going to lead us, leave us 30 kilometers, <laughs> about 15, 20 miles to run the route. I don't really know how long the route is, but we'll see the map here. I believe the M denotes a metro bus route and can be recognized by the M prefix to their route number. Now, so I'm going to get into the driver's seat. You will see that I'm using head tracking. First have to do is log in on the tablet there. Which is fairly straightforward. If you know what you're doing, so press the start. And it says you have to put in your, your pin for the seller, which I guess must be the dri really be the driver's number, not the seller's number. I mean the driver is the seller. So anyway, so press OK with that and then you put in the route, which we're on line. Uh, 85 to a 12 I think it is so put all that in okay that and then we can see here we are line M85 route to direction Memhardstrasse forgive the pronunciation I'm probably mangling the German here do forgive me so we can start up now so this is me powering up the uh, electric motors got to close the doors or it won't let you move as you can see bottom right there is a GPS which has got some handy information on the bottom line there it tells you the date which was basically yesterday 6:53 in the morning so we have to be at Wendelstel Clara Jagdstrasse at 7:25 which is 12 kilometers away as I say it's a long way away so maybe it wasn't wise to choose an electric bus to do this route. See, I've got, I've got mirrors here. Uh, this isn't in my usual quality settings, by the way. I've got this down at 1080p, 30 frames a second, because it is quite a demanding, quite a demanding game. It does use the Unreal 5 engine, which it was um, ported over to just before the release of Phase 2, I believe, last December, just gone. So I've got indicators. It's got lots of options for the sound. The ambience and everything like that. Oh look, there's a little. You can see the moon, which is pretty low in the sky. As we head out on our first shift for BVG in Berlin. Got a red light. You can also um, choose how much AI traffic there is. As you, won't, you won't see any AI buses or buses of any kind on the route because they haven't come yet. Yeah, there's a reflection of the dash in the glass on the left down the near side. 
So yeah, all kinds of handy information down there in the GPS, which you can turn off if you want to by pressing tab. You might see that later on in the, this drive. As an Englishman, I'm not sure what those yellow diamond-shaped road signs on the white background are. We don't have those in the UK, I don't think, and we don't use them. Obviously there's outside views as you can see. So just waiting for this green light to get going. Have to keep an eye on the time, obviously you can't be arriving late for the passengers. Here we go. You can have a good look around with the head tracking. It's a bit tricky, because I'm not a bus driver, getting the bus aligned up in the lanes. So it's a good you t good idea to use this near side mirror. You can see the white lines and you go, as they go past you, then you've got a good idea you're, you're, you're properly in your lane. Here's another red light. So yeah, it reacts quite well to my controls, my inputs. I'm using my Logitech G920 as ever. You see there is a map. A um, bit confusing that map I thought. So P must be where you... Well P means park doesn't it in, in the English. Um, so I, I presume that's the destination. I don't know why those two little green cursory arrows were on the map there. So I'm going to move over to this lane here, I am indicating. I don't know if the AI traffic that's around responds to your driving or your inputs or your signals. But I like to, I like to pretend they do. Anyway, so yeah, we're going, to we're going to take a left here, I should say. Got to wait for this red light. Now I can hear a, a vehicle beside us, but I can't see it. Why can't I see it? Looks like the glass is blackened on the other, on the offside, on the doors. So you've got two, well, we've got a mirror and a, a TV monitor there, a CCTV monitor. So, yeah, there's a ve there's a truck there, but I can't see it. Might need to make some adjustments. So just press tab, click on this here. Oh, you can see my seat's quite far back. So I'm bringing my seat f forward. But you can also change the FOV as well, you see. So if I press tab again, that gets rid of that. Can I see that? Yeah, I can see the truck there now. Which is better. Probably still need to be a bit further in, I think. So let's do a bit more of that. Um, move it. Ultimate forward. That's bringing it back. Mm. Anyway, let's have a look. Is that, how's that? Oh, got a green light. Better get going. Might need to adjust that again. So yeah, welcome to my video. I'm enjoying playing the bus. As I say, I'm not a bus driver. I don't know Berlin. I have been to Germany a long time ago. In the days of B-A-O-R. Right, let's make some more adjustments here. So I'm going to knock this right forward. And knock that. Oh! Shoot, I've, uh, <laughs> I've scraped the side of the bus. Never adjust the seat while you're driving, folks. It isn't safe. That's kind of better. I can still see the mirror. So, yeah, graphically it looks great. I know it's not the highest detail. I, well, I've got it on Epic, but I've got it in 1080p, which is not my usual game playing mode because I have a I usually play in 2k you've got a 2k monitor but it's good enough it looks it looks fine I wouldn't say on epic everything runs really smoothly and there's are some strange lighting things here we go straight through here so yeah 11 kilometers to go it's now 659 so we've got kind of like 26 minutes to get to the First passenger bus stop. Let's move over here. Yeah, see, the shadows are a bit. Some sometimes they're a bit pop in. I don't. 
I'm not as I said, I think it's got it on epic. I'm not sure what the draw distance is. But anyway, I'm quite happy with it the way it is. Can't wait for phase three and some of the other additional things like starting and managing your own bus company. You can get repaints. And I believe this route I'm using might. I could, I, my apologies. I think I, I, this is a guy, by a guy called Werner, who I think I picked this up on the Steam Workshop. Yes, there are routes and repaints on there. So if this is by Werner, which I think it is, thank you to, to him. Who I presume is a German and knows Berlin well and maybe knows all the bus routes. So put in neutral, stick the handbrake on. bit further forward there. Here we are. Oh. Shoot! <laughs> I put it in reverse. That's a that's a firing uh, disciplinary thing, isn't it? Luckily there was nobody behind us and it's early in the morning. KMH zone. So you can see we've got two mirrors on the offside there, sort of one pointing straight back and one looking sort of down towards the door so you can watch the uh, passengers as they get in and out. I mean it does have pop-up screens when you open the doors, it does pop-up screens for a few things. I'm not sure I've uncovered them all but certainly when opening the doors a little uh, a window pops up and shows you what's happening with the doors and stuff. See, there's that yellow yellow diamond sign. I'm sure somebody who knows the German roads well will tell me what that is. I hope they do. So yeah, I've got the lights on. I'm not again. I'm not sure if I've got the lights on properly. I pressed the button once there back at the depot. Um, but I, I think that might be just what we would call the side lights and not the main beams. So I might be running around here and driving around in the public with uh, just my side lights on, which are, at this time of the morning is a bit of a no-no. So we've got road signs, Mitte. So we're going to, towards Mitte. Oh no, we're not. We're um, taking a, we're taking a left. Sorry, moving over. Looking at this near side mirror to see how close to the curb I am. Don't want to hit the curbs. I don't want to hit any parked cars waiting at the lights. Well, stopped cars. So, so I'm indicating you can see. I think we better have a quick maybe look outside to see how close we are to this car to our right. Um, pretty close. And you see I'm taking a lane off, so I'm kind of blocking that middle lane there. Here we go. Make sure I don't hit that driver to my right. So bringing it round. Checking the mirror as we go around. Go in the far right lane. This one is denoted um, a bus lane, I think. So it's a 50 limit, so I'm going to step it up a bit now. I think it's a really realistic driving experience. So regarding this bus, I think it was uh, the first series of Isitarios uh, were delivered to its first co co customer, which was Hochbahn AG, a public transport a public transport company in Hamburg, who took a total of 20 of them. In 2019, more customers started operating Isitarios, including including Rhein Neckar Verkehr, Verkehr GmbH, Berliner Verkehr. I'll not get this right. Berliner Verkehrsbetrieb. 
BVG, that's the company we're working for now, and Zugaland Werkebetrieb, ZVB, and Bus Osterweitz, Oster, Osterschweitz, I should say, BOS. This was followed with orders from Werkebetrieb Hamburg Holstein with 16 buses, etc. So, anyway, it's quite a popular bus now. Regarding the company we're working for, the Berliner Werkersbestrieb, as I say, it's the main public transport company of Berlin, in the capital of Germany here. It manages the city's U-Bahn Underground Railway, tram, bus, uh, replacement services and ferry networks, The but it doesn't run the S-Bahn urban rail system, some of which we may see on our journey here. The Germany used abbreviation BVG, well, that's how it's in English. At B, would they say BVG in Germany or BVG? I don't know. Did you know that BVG operates a network of 149 daytime bus routes serving 2,634 stops and it has a total length of 1,675 kilometres, which is 1,004. 1,041 miles, together with a night bus network of 64 bus routes serving 1,508 stops and a total route length of 795 kilometres, 494 miles. 17 of BVG's bus routes are designated as part of the Metro Nets, which provides a high frequency service in areas poorly served by the U-Bahn and S-Bahn. Like the Metro tram, tram routes, these Metro bus routes are can be recognised by the M prefix, that's what we're driving, to their route number. A further, a further 13 BVG operated bus routes are express routes with an X prefix to their route number, much like in the UK where we've got X1, X5, X10 and all of those. The BVG bus service has a fleet of 1,349 buses, this is taken from Wikipedia again, so this might be slightly out of date, of which no fewer are 407 double-decker buses. While such buses are common in Ireland in the United Kingdom, their use elsewhere in Europe is extremely uncommon. Oh, is that right? I think I might need to experiment with the resolution, maybe put it in native 2K and then just turn down the scaling a bit, which it also has. I believe um, soon, later this year 2023 we're going to get DLSS I don't know if that includes DLSS 3.0 but certainly DLSS 2.0 I would think So yeah, I think this is a, we keep on the left hand side here because I think this is a cycle lane running down the middle of the road. Obviously there's a park cars bit there. So if this is a one-to-one -one representation, what I'd really like to know... Oh, God! Was I... I wasn't supposed to give there... Were you there, was I? Anyway, that's something else that would be clarified for me. Um, what was I going to say? Um, forgotten now. Is this, an, is this really an accurate representation of Berlin? I don't see why it shouldn't be, but it would take a lot of painstaking work to get this accurate. I'm thinking I might have the gamma on a bit too dark because the gaps between the street lights, yeah I know it does get darker, but it goes kind of like completely black here. Probably not helped by the fact that I don't have my lights set properly. I think I've got simplified lighting on it, I think. Oh, should be in that bus lane, better move over.
Yeah, but uh, steering is good. Force feedback's okay. I mean, it's a bus. What do you want? So we'll wait here. Unfortunately, because of the um, the time of day, it is you won't be able to see any of the famous Berlin landmarks, which you can see during the daytime. I don't think we're going to get the chance to do all the route, getting to the route and... Oh shoot, I think I've hit that rail. God damn it. Oh. Better look and see if there's any damage. Uh, difficult to see. I'm not sure damage is modelled on the buses. I don't think... I think licences... Hang on, what am I doing wrong here? I've got it in drive. I can't go... Oh, yeah. Handbrake was on. Yeah, I took the, the license that TML Studios have doesn't allow them to have dirty buses or damaged buses or bring any disrepute to the, to the, to the BVG company. So I think the, all the repaints and the modelling have to be kind of pristine to fulfil the terms of the licence that they have. Right, you've got our left turn coming up, so I'll get in this leftmost lane. See the reflections of there's a, a light on the like the windscreen there, the glass at the front. So we'll have a good look around use our head tracking. Still six kilometres to go. You can see safely you put it in the neutral and put the handbrake on. You can see the bottom of the GPS there. You can see the speed, the date, the time, gear, brake, all sorts of interesting good stuff. Give way to these cars turning right. Check the mirror. Yeah, a few lighting issues. I'm not sure if my NVIDIA 2070 Super is powerful enough for this. It should be. But maybe my CPU is a, a bit of a bottleneck as I don't have a very strong one. like the little taco there you can see fluctuating with my pedal inputs and the gears that it selects obviously like most buses this has just got like an automatic gearbox of drive neutral and reverse ah look there's a look there's a landmark there's a big tall tower thing there Oh, you can now start to see the, if you look at the GPS, you can see the yellow of the route we're going to take to pick up the passengers. Into neutral, handbrake on.
Stick to the bus lanes, otherwise other people will get a bit angry. Speed up a bit here. Uh, here's a, a bridge. Oh, this looks like a. Is it a McDonald's? It is a McDonald's. And you can see the weather is um, appropriate to the time of year. As I say, I did sync the weather to Berlin, which the game allows you to do. So I'm assuming it's a bit a little bit snowy in Berlin, being as how it's like January and all. Sometimes you will find, you'll know this if you're a cyclist like me and on cycle tracks, that the bus lane does just sometimes disappear. Like I think it's kind of disappeared there now and I think that's a cycle pathway So let's have an adjustment of this. I think I want to bring it further. Yeah, maximum forward. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Press tab to get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I can still see the mirrors. Still there, I can see the doors. See when the lights go, oh, go and go down there into the casino. See, I, I obviously haven't got my lights on, probably. You can see that pretty obviously now. And then you can see again, you can see the route coming on the way back. I'm a bit curious about the realism with the battery. If I'm, if I'm using this electric bus and it's only got a limited amount of mileage, battery life, will I run out of power before the end of the route? <laughs> Tune in next time to find out, because I don't know, I haven't done it yet. Thankfully there is a save game. The sounds are pretty good. I may think maybe I should have adjusted the sound to make the traffic outside a bit louder. I feel comfortable now with um, sticking to my lane because it seems like the traffic can overtake me probably. Maybe at the lights my parking isn't. My alignment isn't perfect, but I think generally driving along, people seem to be not afraid to overtake and <laughs> claim their space on the road. I'm not getting in the getting in their way too much. Yeah, brakes and accelerator all work fine. I'm happy that steering is good. Some people complained about the revolutions of the steering wheel depicted in the in the cab, because obviously a real steering wheel um, and a bus goes around more than 900 degrees, I believe. But it's uh, for me that's a minor point. Yeah, you see how the shadows suddenly pop in. sometimes. Straight over here, green light.
So, three kilometres to go before we even start the shift. See, there's an S, that's the S barn, and the green S symbol. That's not run by BVG. There is a BVG website if anybody wants to look at it. It does have uh, English. We'll stay in this right filter lane, which I believe is www.bvg.de if you want it in English then it's forward slash en and you'll see what a big massive company is sometimes you'll see the view um, snap back away I press a button on my keyboard just to sort of like centralize the view again because sometimes it does drift off a little bit so you can reset it so you might see the view jump back to central suddenly so here we are turning right yeah I'm going to put the indicator on follow this truck look at them I would look at the mirror oh god I think I've gone too way far around there I find it hard to look at that mirror on the offside so yeah let's get some speed up here two kilometers to go got to be there in four minutes should make two kilometers in four minutes well, these dark spots are a little bit intimidating so it looks like the route comes back here as you can see the yellow line next to our orange line so we go under this bridge more of a suburban area now I think with shops the BB bank part of cars which seem to have like frost on them which is a nice touch Yeah, so modding support is coming for so those who want to make their own routes, possibly build their own buses, have huge new maps. You never know, one day there might be one in the UK. Who knows? Maybe they won't. When I keep the speed limit down, oh, there's a one of the smaller Lidl's a company and brand that we know very well in the UK they're giving the UK supermarket world a bit of a shake up with their low prices and good quality I must say I, I often shop there myself I'll move over here So a kilometre to go. The moon is still in the sky, but not very brightly. Maybe that needs a tweak, developers. Looks like we've got a left turn coming up ahead. So uh, let's go in the filter lane. I presume that the traffic there is going right, that taxi. So it's not just me that blocks the lanes, and that TML driver is doing it as well. So I'm assuming he is turning right. If he's turning left, there might be a bit of a competition to get, <laughs> to get going first. So not far until we get to Vendestel Clara Yasht Strasse. I don't know who Clara Yasht 
Jashke, is. Maybe somebody could put me right on that. Right, so here we go. Looks like that other traffic was turning right because nobody's tried to stop me getting here. Uh, try and get in the right lane. Oh, getting a bit jittery now, especially with these pop ins of the shadows. Maybe I've got high quality shadows on and I maybe shouldn't have in the uh, graphical options. 450k mh area, so there's no fear of speeding. building here on the right. I don't know if that's shops or offices or IBIS. Aren't they the company that run the um, ticket machine business? I, I don't know. Oh, she's wearing a fancy dress for half past seven in the morning. Unless she's been out clubbing of course, which is entirely possible in Berlin. Lane. Checking my near side mirror to make sure I'm not overstepping my lane boundaries. Straight. Oh, is that red light for me? I presume it is. Oh, looks like we've got a left turn up ahead. Not just here, but further down. Oh, I can nearly see the tip of the P. Right, here we go. Have I, have I got a green? Uh, oh, I think I've made a mistake here. Oh dear. Oh well. <laughs> I sh shouldn't have pulled out there, I don't think. Couldn't see the lights. So I'm moving over going to take the left lane. I'm going to try and get as tucked in as close as I can to the kerb without hitting it. So not far now. Hope I'm not blocking the lane. To my left. To my right, I mean. Yes, I am. You can see that car transport of things can't get past. I hope you'll forgive me. It's my first time driving in Germany. What's my. I don't drive on the right much at all. I don't think I've ever done it in real life. So round here and we should find some passengers. Where, where, um, ah, just here. So pull in here. Uh, I, I can see sod all in here. Anybody see any passengers or a bus stop? Uh, there's a marker there. Is this it? Oh no, that's just a mark on the road. Ah, I pressed L and there's some more lights. Ha! And there was light. I still don't see anybody. Can... All right, so the things change to Alexanderplatz, it says now, on the front and back of the bus. So, 
Well, all right, so the route on the GPS on the bottom right has now gone orange again. So I presume we're basically just at some kind of like loopy turnaround point. Can't go there, which is good because I don't want to be down there. Oh, you can see the lights on the wall now. Maybe I should have used that wall to align the lights properly so I knew what I was, what I've got showing. I can hear a, I can hear an emergency vehicle. Nice touch. So, slight little thing there while I just fiddled on with the lights. So it looks like the first pickup point is not here. But oh God, this car come better reverse up. Sorry, sorry. It's my first day. I'm English. Probably thinking, bloody idiot. Right, anyway, so, got all the lines on the GPS now. So we go up here. Um, turn right. The lights are green. Which is always handy. So. So basically we'll, um, we'll pick up the first lot of passages and then we'll... I'll save it because this is getting rather long now. Ah, oh, there's the automatic stop announcements. That's good. Here we are. Here I can see some people. We're in the bus lane, we'll try not to kill anybody with the wheels. Some bags of rubbish there in the street. Here we are. Everybody looking kind of appropriately dressed with hats and gloves on. So I think what we do now, so I've got the parking brake on and press the button to open the doors. You can see the little mirror. Morning. 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 Can you put out a ticket, haven't you? You certainly can, Mum. So click on arrived. So she wants a single ticket Berlin AB. So Berlin AB, she's playing by card, a single. So you have to click on the card symbol, card terminal. She holds nothing in her hand. But anyway, picks Morgan. the ticket up. Morgan. Okay, madam. Uh, single. Uh, single. Cash. Take the coins. Doesn't need any change. Hi. He wants an ABC. So we're going to go. Uh, single. Terminal. Flashes. Nothing in his hand. Note to developers. Hello. Hi. You what? Single. He's paying by phone, which is entirely possible. There was no phone in his hand. I don't know. There's some graphical glitch there, because on other occasions I have seen phones in the hand. Got a green light. So. Gonna move over here. Got a red light, so just check things. All right, let's. Are the pip? Are the passengers happy? Possibly have a look. Oh yeah, so we've got M85. That's fine. Oh, it looks a bit dark in there. Should I have the? Oh, I've just remembered. I don't have the lights, and I don't have the. The heating on inside. So with it being January, there may be some comments. Yeah, it's pretty dark in there. Um, right. Guys and girls, thank you for watching. Uh, this is where I draw this video to a close. Do join me for part two when we complete the route, provided the power doesn't run out on my electric bus. Bye for now.